Growing up, we grew up with little to no money, but we didn't know it. We had a blast growing up because we didn't know we didn't have anything. And it was great. It was okay. There were a lot of moments in my life that were very beneficial and I think that influenced my life. I think one great example is at six years old when my mother told my brother and I to take a dime, put into this man ringing a bell. It was the Salvation Army. And we had nothing, but she said, guys, we could afford 10 cents this year. Salvation Army is for people who have no money and no home and no food. And that's all we could give. But remember, boys, as long as you live, there's always somebody that needs it more than you do. Try and donate a little something. We can afford a dime, but at least we're making a donation. My passion is, first of all, I wake up in the morning, I'm alive, yay! <laughs> I think there's just a variety of things that we humans and our human bodies have to experience, tons of passions. And a passion is really something that makes you feel good. And especially something that makes you feel good on an ongoing basis. I don't celebrate milestones, achievements. I don't even celebrate birthdays. I take my birthday and help uh, do motorcycle rides to raise funds for those that are more in need. I'm just blessed every day being here. It's easy to balance your business life and your family life together if it becomes part of your lifestyle. So there's no segment for family, there's no segment for business. It's all amalgamated together. I measure success not on how much money you have, but success is how well do you do what it is that you do. There are many monumental moments. For example, when I received the Horatio Alger Award in the Supreme Court of the United States. It's the only award given in the United States of America to people that are, were here in America that went through a lot of adversity, but showed that the American dream sure worked for everybody, and you gave back along the way. That's what the award's all about. I never had a goal of being a billionaire, and when I found out the moment it was worth a billion dollars, great, no big deal. 